Facts First presents A strange noise sounded in this house's walls for 13 years when a repairman finally found the cause. Old houses tend to make noise. Over time, the floorboards start to creak, the door hinges begin to creak as well. It's something people expect when they move into an old house. Some people will spend money to try and fix the issues, others find the creaking and squeaking give the old house its quaint charm. Jerry and Sylvia Lynn they lived in an old house in Ross, Pennsylvania. They'd been living in that house for 13 years, and during all that time they heard something strange coming from the walls. The sound wasn't a typical noise that you'd hear in an old house, either. It was entirely different. It would often startle visitors who stopped by in the evening. The sound began at the same time every night, and over the years it got louder and louder. It started in 2004, but it didn't bother the couple then. According to Jerry, they found it kind of cute. The noise started in 2004, which doesn't really seem like all that long ago, but when you think of all the things that have changed since then, it shows how long ago it really was. Back in 2004, George W. Bush won his second term as president of the United States. After that, President Barack Obama served two terms as president. And that brings us to the current president, Donald Trump. Back in 2004, Trump wasn't even a politician, he was just a businessman. It wasn't until late 2004 that he even got into the reality TV business. Today, if you want to find an old high school friend or find out where your friends are going to be going on a Friday night, you'll probably use Facebook. Back when the noise in the house began in 2004, you had to wait until your high school reunion to see your high school friends. If you wanted to find out where your friends would be going, you had to make a phone call. Facebook wasn't really a thing back then. It was created in 2004, but at the time, it was exclusively for a localized network of users. It wasn't open to the public until 2006. In 2004, the ongoing war with Iraq dominated the news every night. In 2004, the U.S. was just a year into the 10-year conflict. Saddam Hussein stood trial for his war crimes, and the country was handed over to a temporary government. In 2004, the 28th Olympic Games were going to be held in Greece. It was the first time the Games would be held there since the very first Games back in 1896. Four billion people tuned in to watch the symbolic lighting of the flame. The most talked-about Super Bowl halftime show ever occurred in 2004. It was the infamous wardrobe malfunction, with Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake performing together and it was so embarrassing for Janet Jackson, and it made the halftime show a lot less family-friendly. So now that you know what happened in 2004, the year the sound started, you should know a bit more about the sound itself. It echoed through the home for just under a minute, and it occurred at the same time every night. And it went on for 13 years. The sound was something that would drive most people crazy, but the Lins didn't think too much of it. In 2004, Jerry was installing a TV wire. He wanted to know where it would be safe to drill, and the best way would be to punch a hole in the wall. To make sure that it lined up perfectly, he tied an object to a string and sent it down into the wall through the vent upstairs. He knew that he wouldn't be able to see the string behind the wall, so he tied an alarm clock to the string. He set the alarm to ring after 10 minutes, which would give him ample time to lower the clock and drill the hole where he needed. The plan worked perfectly until the end. Somehow the string came loose and the clock dropped down and fell behind the wall. He couldn't get the clock out of the wall now, but he wasn't too worried about it. It was a battery-powered alarm clock and he was sure the batteries would eventually run out. It's been 13 years since the alarm clock went into the wall, and it is still going off every day. During standard time, the alarm rings every night at 10 minutes to 7. During daylight savings time, it goes off 10 minutes to 8. Each time when the alarm goes off, the couple hopes it'll be the last time. But, well, that day has not yet come. The alarm starts off as a beep-beep, and then the beeps get closer together, and it gets louder. The Lynn's situation got attention from the local news, and after a report, local contractors from low-cost heating and air they offered to remove the clock for free. So finally, after 13 years, no alarms are going off in the Lynn house. Well, except for the ones that they want to go off. Subscribe for more!